Hello friends and welcome everyone. This is Deborah. I'm so happy that you are stopping by to spend time with me today. I really appreciate you taking the time out to do that. We have a lot to cover in today's video as I show you my kitchen, the island, and credenza all decorated for Christmas. And then at the end, I'll show you all my newest pillow cover that I designed and made, which is also available for purchase. And we'll talk more about that later. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at my pint-sized kitchen, which you've all seen many times. I've chosen a black and white color palette with touches of tartan plaid to accent the Mackenzie Child's pieces, as well as the twall fabrics that I have in the kitchen. And I love it. As we take a look at my sink area, I wanted to point out that I hung a pair of black and white twall window valances that I thrifted for $2.99 at Goodwill. And then I hung a thrifted mirror, which was also from Goodwill. I think I paid like seven or $8 for it um, earlier this year. And when I purchased it, I stenciled the Paris apartment with a chandelier on it and it hung out in my garden for the summer and if you notice how the shape of the mirror fits perfectly under the curve of the balances. Okay friends, now let's take a look at the island. I made this centerpiece the other day basically just from leftover picks and scraps of ribbon and a few ornaments left in the bottom of my bins and I made it in a thrifted bread basket that I've had for a while. All I had to purchase was the new red candles from Hobby Lobby and I have to say I'm very pleased with it plus it can be easily moved for casual dining. So here's how it all looks 
set up for a festive Christmas brunch for two. I used a black and white twall table runner and matching napkins that I made a few years ago mixed with more tartan plaid napkins which is in keeping with the color palette and design of the kitchen. Okay guys, next up is the credenza and it is decorated a little differently. It's a little more snowy and rustic but still with touches of red and the black and white twall Christmas trees I made last year which helps tie it in with the kitchen and the island to keep it cohesive. Listening to this song Okay friends, before I close out the video, I want to take the time to show you all my newest pillow cover that I designed and made this week. It's a Paris apartment style done in French gray, light gray, cream, and touches of black. There's so much detail to look at and I love the crystal prisms and beading to give it sparkle and really a bit of the unexpected. So let's take a look at it a little closer so you can see the detail. The finished size is 22 inches by 22 inches, so it would be a definite statement piece on your bed, sofa, or your chair. All right, my sweet friends, that'll do it for today's Christmas Decorating Series 2022, Episode 3. I hope you enjoyed it and drew a little inspiration for decorating your home for the holidays. I'll be back at the end of this week for my home tour, so please be sure to come back and see me. Until then, you all take care, my lovelies. Bye-bye.